Good evening. My name is Chasmin Williams Ali, and I'd like to thank you, Nick, and the TDO for giving us an opportunity on this platform to open a discussion about the social climate of the world and of America currently. I think it's important in these times to realize that reality is different for different individuals, and many people live in a reality that's based on fear and inequality and injustice based on race or gender or religion or many other things. And I think it's the responsibility of those that aren't afraid to help those that live in fear. It's the responsibility of people with voices to speak up for the voiceless. And while we are all proud to be Americans, we aren't always proud of America. And this piece really, I think, identifies that because Yes, we are children still, but we don't always feel loved as everyone else. So in memory of Mr. Blake, Mr. Brown, Mr. Floyd, Mr. Castillo, Ms. Taylor, and many, many others that have suffered and died in these times, this one is for you. Thank you. Chaz, woof, incredible performance, wow. Hey everybody, my name is Nicholas Brownlee, host of Nick at Nine, an opera variety show right here on the TDO Network. Now, if this is not your first time joining, you'll know that in past weeks of the show, um, it's a sort of an escapism kind of opera show where we where we talk really silly about opera and we I, I do performances with my friends all over the world and and we just sort of have a good time and take 20 minutes out of our day to sort of do this and remember how great opera is and how much we miss live performing 
Um, but I changed it up a little bit this week and wanted to offer my voice and my platform um, to maybe those who whose voices aren't heard as much all the time. And so, Chaz, thank you so much for coming on. Chaz is an incredible artist, an incredible singer, um, and as you heard, also a beautiful speaker. So, Chaz, thank you so much for, for doing that. Um, I, I don't know what else I can add to that, and I won't attempt to add anything else to that. Uh, except for the fact that I'm so proud to be a part of the TDO network, a network that's constantly striving to be on the right side of history, and more than that, pushing the the, the history forward and progressing as we go. So I'm very proud uh, to be a part of this team, and thank you for joining me on my show today. Um, now, I'm not a show host. I have no training in journalism and uh, uh, or in telecommunications, but now I will attempt to do a very weird pivot in a very quick turn and tell you um, now up up next on the show, I guess. Uh, up next on the show, if you'll bear with my awkwardness, up next on the show is a segment we call A Lifelong Duet, where two opera couples, uh, m- my wife and I, both opera singers, sit down with uh, two other opera singers that are, that have made uh, an opera couple for their lives. Um, and we sit down and we ask them really hard questions and we turned it sort of into a game show. So our fourth uh, version of this, our fourth contestants on the show, uh, Brent and Naomi, are great friends of mine. Brent and I did, uh, we've done a lot of stuff together. We were at LAO Young Artist Program together. Naomi's one of the most beautiful artists that you could ever want to meet. Um, they joined us our, uh, from their home in Ireland while we were here in Germany to film this. Um, and so it, it's going to be a little bit shorter show this season. This is season two now. Um, we're going to break it down to just two segments, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, but more of the really cool stuff that you've come to grow and love and uh, and and really respond to really well on the Nick at Nine program. There's also some more fun competition stuff coming your way like we did with the Opera Madness. So be sure to tune in. And when you're done, be sure to hit that share button, that like button. Um, it really helps us on the back end. And um, I'm so grateful that you're taking this 10 minutes out of your day uh, to listen to me jabber about how awesome opera is. Wherever you are, I hope you're enjoying your day. And as we move further and further out of summer, they, we're, we're getting more and more towards the light at the end of the tunnel. So ever, let's everyone bear down. Let's everyone try to make as but as, as good of a fall season as we can have. And uh, I hope you all enjoy this lifelong duet. Peace. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I> lo- <laughs> That's perfect. That's going in 100%. All right, Jen, hit it off. Number one, who's been singing longer? Okay, number two, who sings higher? Okay. Three, whose rep is harder? Number four, which of you has had the most voice teachers? Number five, who's better at music theory? Okay. Number six, which of you spends more time on YouTube listening to old school singers? <laughs> Number seven, who's more likely to have a gnarly crack in performance? <laughs> Eight, who spends more time warming up before performances? Okay. Nine, which of you has the weirdest show day ritual? Okay. 10, who's more of a diva on show days? Oh, 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 man. oh, oh okay. 11, who has better diction? Okay. 12, which of you is more prepared when you show up to a gig? Oh, a thinker. Quick one. Throw it up. Throw it up. Okay. Uh, 13, which of you is more likely to translate the entire score and not just where you sing? 14, who is better with patrons? Okay, and last one from me. Who takes lessons and coachings more? Okay. Number 16. All right. Which of you is better at being on the road? Hmm. Who's more likely to be late to rehearsal? Which of you looks at the conductor more while performing? Ooh. Which of you is more likely, to, which is you is more likely to get in a fight with the director? <laughs> Who's more likely to forget to pay their AGMA dues? Who's more likely to forget text? Hmm. 
Which of you does more online creeping of current singers in your fog? Who sweats more during shows? Uh, <laughs> which of you is the better actor? That's right. <laughs> who's, who's louder? Who's more musical? Which of you likes opera more? Who needs singing more? Which of you has better technique? And finally, who's the better singer? Robbie. Good stuff. Robbie. He bailed. That's a Robbie. He bailed on the last one. He bailed on the last one. We'll just tell that's you. The only, on the that's one. the only bail, though, of the whole entire time. He didn't do it. He was like, that bailed? Oh, for God's sake, the Midwestern, and you know where <laughs> <laughs> And there you have it. Oh, my goodness. There's a new couple king queen in town. That's right, Vanessa and Luis. Move over, baby. Um, unbelievable showing by Naomi and Brent. And if you didn't hear what she said, uh, she said in the, in the, uh, thickest, gnarliest Irish accent, she, she said, I won't attempt to do that right now. I won't regale you with my genius British accent or Irish accent. Uh, but she said, you, that was the Midwesterner in you because you bailed because <laughs> Brent is the nicest guy in the world. Of course he raised both. Um, uh, that was super, super fun. What a fun thing to put together, to record and then put together. Um, yeah, people in this opera business are really cool and they're really fun to hang out with. So that'll do it for this week's show. As I said, we're only doing two segments this time. Uh, we're going to break it down uh, and, and try to shoot for 12-minute episodes now um, and try a little something different. So if you don't mind, please, uh, I was going to say rate and review. There's nothing to rate, but please share this. Please like it. Please comment. Um, and, and engage with us on this post. It's a lot of fun for me. Uh, thank you all. And again, be kind, love opera, and sing your best every chance you get to. Love to each and every one of you out there. Nick at Nine coming to you next week. Look for some really exciting things next week. Peace.